Hi, Bren here. Um, this week's garden update video didn't exactly turn out the way I had planned. Um, I came out here this morning and I was greeted by what you see behind me, absolutely really strong winds, which was completely unexpected. And when I looked down the end of the garden, I couldn't believe what I saw, but my greenhouse had completely broken and everything was all around the garden, all the plants, the pots, everything that was in there was all around the place. Sorry, just got distracted. The kids are home from, um, they're on school holidays. Anyway, thankfully, I, last week I'd mentioned that this week I was planning on getting all my tomato um, seeds um, sown and thankfully I actually didn't get around to that. So even though the greenhouse is completely broken now, um, I didn't actually lose that much stuff, which I'm really grateful for. Like, could you imagine if it was in a couple of weeks' time or even a month's time, full of seedlings? It would just be heartbreaking. Um, anyway, so the tomatoes haven't been done yet, and I will get them done soon. But um, in this video, I want to show you what I have been up to this week. I have been doing a serious amount of mulching around the garden. I've also been potting up containers as well with lovely colour for springtime and I want to show you all of that now but let's start off down at the back. Well here it is, the collapsed greenhouse. I mean things could have been so much more worse. If this was in a few weeks time I would have lost so many seedlings, all my tomatoes and eggplants. But let me just show you the damage which actually isn't that bad so I have this tray here that I showed you last week with all the Asian greens um, a lot of them fell out they're a bit mixed up now and I'm not sure which is which but I'm gonna pop some of them in the ground this week and I have a new area that I mulch that I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put them and I actually put out two or three of these trays of um, sweet Alice yesterday as well um, and I'm pretty happy I did that this broke my little saucer, but I should be able to glue it back together. This tray here is not too bad. Looks all right, just needs a bit of fixing up. But over here are most of my eggplants and capskins. Look, they've fallen over again. Um, the only thing is now, a lot of the labels have fallen out of the pot, so I'm not sure which is which. But you know what, it'll be a nice surprise when they start to produce fruit. And looking on the bright side of things, it does give me a chance to tidy up all of this <laughs> bits and pieces that I've put in the greenhouse over winter. So I'll get it all cleared up probably today or tomorrow. Lovely cheery calendulas in flower. The one nice bright pop of colour in my garden. And here, I've been working on this area. I've got the pathway mulched and then over here it's looking quite good I think. I've just put down compost in between all the plants and in springtime I will mulch it with some um, maybe some hay or some more of this bark I'm not sure. I love these winter greens this is the curly kale and I have a few flowers spotting here this is a um, uh, salvia the flowers in springtime so I've just come around the other side to show you I'm really happy with um, how it's looking now I've just put that little pot in there as a little feature I'll probably put um, potted color in there in springtime and I think the the dark compost and the light brown bark mulch makes a really nice contrast so the purpose of this little trellis is to stop my little boy running through there, running through my plants. I love these nasturtiums under the orange tree. To me, they add a bit of a whimsical touch to the garden. Very dreamy. I picked all of these lemons and oranges yesterday and I forgot to bring them inside. But it's so exciting having citrus fruit back in the garden. Over here in the raised garden bed area, 
the wind's picked up again now I'll take a couple of steps back and you can see here that I've put down more compost and put it around all my brassicas I actually ended up replacing the two that died with little seedlings there and there hopefully they'll catch up and over here this is where I plan on putting all of those Asian greens well a good few of them into this section also look what I made up this week this is an old basket that I got from an op shop and I put some of these ornamental kale in it and I put um, also the pansy I think it's like a pale white pink colour and I'm going to pop this in springtime beside the entrance to the veggie patch and it'll almost look like a harvest basket. This wind that we got last night was pretty strong. It's knocked over all of my barrage but it doesn't appear to have any broken branches. I'll come over this way. Oh, how beautiful is this? This is um, a rainbow charred pink colour. Isn't it gorgeous? Adds such a nice um, pop of colour into the winter garden. And it's edible too. I love this area. I'm really excited about springtime. Seeing all the ranunculus, Queen Anne's lace, all the spring flowering plants, gloves. It's going to look gorgeous. Let's go around this way. I haven't showed you here in a few weeks. I have spent a few days clearing up this section. You can see my mulch piles have gone down. I had two cubic metres of mushroom compost there and I've moved most of it and that's all my bark. I do order in compost because I just don't make enough at the moment for all the new beds I'm creating. And I've filled in here with some defiliums. And what else have I got? I've got some honesty plants. I've got lots of self-seeded honesty everywhere, so I thought I might as well just use it. And over here, do you remember this is where I had all the armorants? And what else? The Mexican sunflowers dahlias and now I've planted it up here I have a row of stock have some greens look at this my Chinese broccoli our um, days have been so mild it's starting to go to flower I'll have to cut that off now today you can still eat it looks very pretty and I've been using some of that mushroom compost to fill out up my containers it's just a cheaper alternative, I guess, to having to buy potting mix, which can be quite expensive. Starting to fill them up. This year I want to experiment putting more um, edibles in containers, so I put some Savoy cabbages in here. Oh, and primulas. I love primulas in springtime. I put some more up here. This is an old wheelbarrow that we had when we moved into the house. The previous owner left it behind. And I've potted up loads of different things in here. I've transplanted some nigella. I've got that popping up all around the garden. I've got a foxglove in there because you know what? I thought, might as well see how it goes in a wheelbarrow. Why not? And lots of primulas. Some more grass, ornamental grass, the bunny tail grass. So this will look lovely and colourful. Well, hopefully it will in a couple of months. If you come around this way, this is where I had all the self-seeded, you can see them all there, the honesty plants. So I've transplanted a few out along here to have a drift of them. And over the other side, oh, I have one flower on a pansy. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Lovely and cheery. And beside that, I've got lots of them. Um, these are um, wallflowers. They're the same wallflowers that I've put into my upcycled um, fire pit. It's like a vibrant reddy orange colour. And then I've just got some more um, silver beet. These are all little baby um, 
foxgloves, lots of them. There's a bronze fennel. So lots of lovely plants. They're all so small at the moment, but I really wanted to show you them all so that you have something to refer back to. Here's a lovely, another little pot here that I got off my husband's grandma. And I put some daisies in there and primulas. I love the colour white in the cottage garden. It really accentuates the greens and the browns. I've been working on the area by the front door. This is only the start of it, but I put some um, geranium cuttings in here, some lamb's ears, you know, just shove them all in, see how they go. And then some more of the um, bunny tail grass. And I'll go and show you the one up above it. And here's the other one here. I did have these sticking up. These are flax, and that's what they're called but they've fallen over, but that's all right, I'll fix them today. I popped in an asturtium that I found self-seeded in the garden, some daisies, more gazanias that I literally just snap off and push in the ground where I live and they grow, which is amazing getting them because they're just like free plants, aren't they? Lots more pretty jonquils flowering. The smell of these are just beautiful. I still find it strange that they flower in midwinter here in Australia, where in Ireland you'd only be getting these in springtime. I might pick a few and bring them inside. The camellia tree now is pretty much finished blooming. Put on such a lovely show over the last couple of months. It's time for me to head back inside. I've got the kids home. They're on school holidays. You can know, <laughs> see around the garden that they've been playing out here, making forts and having fun. This is one of them over here by the apple tree, enjoying themselves. Okay, well, I better head off for now. Sorry this being so windy in this video and so shiny and glary. It was just hard to record and I had to record it today otherwise there wouldn't have been an update this week. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week.